Hello guys and gals and welcome to Gold Rush, the how-to series. I'm Buddy1927 and today in Gold Rush how-to, I'm going to show you how to use the drill machine. Okay, we're here just down the street from the police station at the heavy mining equipment store. Right here. Yep. That's him. Cash only. Pure power. Whatever that is. And here in this in this story you got your wash plants. Your Frankenstein. Better drumbles. Better pays. Bulldozer. Front end loader, your small excavator, your large excavator, dump truck, generator for the power for the power generator, and over here, this is your drill machine. Okay, now you can buy this drill machine for seventy five thousand four hundred and three dollars. How many of you actually have $75,403 since you are just starting out? Nobody. I don't. Right now I got a total of 17906 and that's after um, that's after doing all those six buckets and buying the, the equipment. For the gold, for the gold room, this is what I have left over, and I also bought a couple of other things, but I can't afford seventy-five thousand two hundred. So what I want, what you can do is just go up here, hit one, and you can, um, you can receive it for seventy-five thousand four hundred and three dollars, or you can rent it for thirty thousand dollars, uh, for thirty thousand, for three thousand sixteen dollars. You can either buy it or rent it. We want to rent it. So we'll hit click on rent. And we come over to this window. Check out. Um, this window is your paint shop. And this one is your transport shop. So you want to come over here to check out. And we have one. And we'll go ahead and place our order. This little box will come out. I always check that. Okay, then we come over here to transport. And I'm going to use, I'm going to click on that. Click this thing over here so it takes it from this um, storage to our, our parcel. And click move. It's going to cost us $1,500 to move the machine. And the machine should be, yep, I just double check, make sure the machine's there. The machine should be there. So what we are going to do, and the other thing I do recommend, you, you can get this at the store. I do recommend that you buy the mobile fuel tank. It costs about $3,500 $3, and make sure you fill it up. Because either that or buy about twenty. Jerry cans and run back and forth between the your parcel and your parcel and the gas station filling up those jerry cans to fill up the machine. This is a lot easier. So as I drive back to the parcel, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back here at the parcel. It is 12, 12 in the e in the morning, not the evening now. It's um, 12 minutes after midnight. So this is our drilling machine. And I'm actually going to wait until daytime because it's a lot easier to see how this machine works. Um, usually... Arnold's parcel, which is what we're on, 
usually takes about a day and a half. So I'm just going to wait until the sun comes up so I can show you how to use that. Then we'll take it from there. Okay, guys. It's 7.07 in the morning. It's a nice, cloudy, raining morning here in Hines, Alaska. Let's just go over this machine. Go from the back. This is your drill machine. You got backup light here. You got a backup light here. You got a little hammer in case you need to fix something. Of course, you got your driver's seat and all this. You can tell that this is an old army bulldozer that they converted into a drill machine. They put the drill machine in the back. Took off the plow. Took off the plow and put this thing on. Put two headlights right here. Um, you have your battery box here. And your fuel tank to fill your fuel is right here on the left hand side of the equipment. And we'll go ahead and get into this beast. Now, I recommend. If you, of course, this is PC right now. I recommend getting an Xbox controller to um, use your heavy equipment on. It's a lot easier. I find it a lot easier. Especially once you get into the bigger equipment. But I find it's also a lot easier to use this. But let's just go over the controls for the keyboard real quick. To raise and lower the drill... You got to use your um, R key to raise, your F key to lower, and you must be in park before you can raise or lower your um, drill. So that's the space bar, and you got your W, S, A, and D to, on your keyboard to move forward and stuff like that but I like using the Xbox controller and you can see um, I got my left down and up uh, left down and up yeah I'm using the right one the right one is your camera going all the way that's a beautiful guy right there. Buddy 1927 is a beautiful guy. Except for he has red hair. So this isn't Buddy 1927. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Now. Release the brake, buddy. Okay. I'll go ahead and close this. But you can see the rest of the Xbox controller. I'm using the Xbox controller for PC. This don't take an Xbox controller and put it to your um, PC. I'm using one specifically designed for the PC. Okay. And you see all these numbers. Those are where we are going to put our test holes. So, we're going to try to get as many test holes done. Some of them we won't be able to do. But some of them we might be able to do. So, what I'm going to try to do is get this one, which is should be 247. I'm going to see if I can get right here in this corner. Because sometimes it, it does it, sometimes it doesn't. So, we hit park. We lower. And the drill machine goes down. Okay, it's not going to let us because the ground's just too short for the drill. But what you want to try to do, let's just release the brake. We'll back up. I'm going to try to get 222 here. I'm just trying to get the edge of it. See if it'll let me drill here. It's not going to let me drill here. And you got to wait until the drill is in the safe position. And that's the safe position right there. So I'm just going to back up. Of 
And we'll go ahead and start going down this way. I, since we're on the edge here, I'm just going to try to pull up to where I can just get that drill machine in there. And see if it'll let me do that one. Ah, it's that just. It's just short. Okay. Well, I know. Around these edges, you might have to go to the outside. It's about here. Let's try that. See if I can get this one tested. Okay, and we did get it tested. And since we're doing this outside right now, what I like doing is I'll just go ahead and pull forward to the next one. And I'll try to get close to the numbers. Let's see if it let me do this. It might be too shallow. Okay. And what the drill does, it each drill hole that we do, it will have an estimated amount or if see if any gold is in that section. And what I like to do is do it in a row. And we'll just keep on doing that. Yeah, and I'll keep release the brake, buddy. Okay, I'm not going to bother with um, 147, 122, 97, 72. I know those are not going to be, I'm not going to be able to drill those. Okay, we found a nugget of 1.28 ounces. If you have your nugget, if you have your nugget section turned on, you will find nuggets, and I would recommend that because that will help you to be able to forward the next phase of your operation. Because you will find a lot of nuggets. So, we'll come to here, we'll drill out this, it doesn't matter which way you go, you can go, you can go up and down or left to right, I'm, I like using left to right. I'm not going to bother with 46 and whatever number that is because I know th I know that that's too shallow and since we were drilling on the edge I'm trying to keep the drill away from the edge for right now but you can see I'm getting closer to the center once we get done with this row We'll move on to the next row. I'll just move up one and turn. Oh, yeah. I'm not drilling. I What I like doing Okay, what I'm going to do is just kind of back up I want to put the drill as close between the 7 and the 0 as possible on 70 As soon as I figure out which way I'm going
Okay. There we go. Yeah. Because of the terrain, you will end up. Okay. That should be. We should. Okay. You want to get close to the number as possible. I'm not going to do that. Oop. Wrong button. Okay. We'll go ahead and start drilling. You want to try to get as close to the center as possible. Sometimes the landscape won't allow you to do that, and sometimes it will. Right now, we're on a slope, as you can see. So it's a little bit harder. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward. Fast forward as I drill the whole thing. Okay guys, it kind of broke the drill, so I'm going to hop in the pickup truck, and I think, yeah, I'm going to hop in the pickup truck, I'm going to, turn around here I guess, I guess that's what we are trying to do here, um, the voice for some reason didn't get recorded, so I'm re- I'm dubbing my voice in right now on this section and what we're doing is driving to the we're driving to the um, drill to see if we can fix the drill I've already bought a uh, replacement for the drill <coughs> excuse me and there's two types of um, drill replacements there's there's the regular drill, which is about 3,000 and some change. And there's another one that's about 24,000 and some change. So buy the, thir the 3,000 because you're renting this. Now, if you are actually going to be using this and you own this, you might want to go ahead and get the reinforced one, which lasts longer. And it, 
won't break as easily. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what tool to use. And what we are going to use is the drill, which is slot number four. But trying to find, th they kind of made this replacing the drill bit a little bit difficult. So you just got to kind of find the sweet spot. So we got the back of it. Now we got to try to find, that's the back of it. That's the back of it. We got to try to find the front part. And I really can't get it. I'm trying to get it. All I'm getting is the back part. It won't let me get to the front part. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, nope. I can't move the drill. I can't move the drill forward so I'm not in this hole. And I'm still trying to hit that one spot up front. And it's, it's just not letting me get it. I guess I'm just too far away. So what I'm going to do is hop in the pickup truck. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this um, fuel tank real quick. I'm going to detach the fuel, truck, uh, fuel tank real quick. And let's park it right here. Think. Come on, buddy. No, you don't want it like that because the boundary's right there, so it'd be kind of hard to get it to come back. That's a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and detach the fuel tank. And what I'm going to do is try to get. Whoa! Watch out for the hole there, buddy. Oh, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, we're trying to get to the drill here. And what I'm going to try to do is nose myself up to where I can hop up here and see if I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to have to crouch. But we got there. There we go. Oh. Come on. There we go. We got it. So it's now released. So now I can pick it up. If I can get a grab on it. And the new drill's already there. You can tell the difference. So we'll just hop this. Put this one in. And then we'll take our tool again, the drill, and we'll put in the front one and see if we can get the back one connected. Yes, I think that's it. Nope, come on. There you go. That's the back one. Now the drill, now the um, drill is fixed. We'll hop back in, move the truck out of the way. Kind of wish they had a Jeep. I would love to bring a Jeep to this. Before I dig it up, this bring a jeep. That's what I like to do. So we'll go ahead and move move the pickup truck out of the way, and then I'll just go ahead and fast forward this, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, it is now 7:22, about the same time when we started. We've done all the whole parcel with this machine I'm going to hit the map now this is where we're at we're on old on old parcel and the parcels get bigger as we go along so you might want to go ahead the next time the next parcel that you go to you might, might as well just go ahead and buy the machine and let's keep it in storage until you need to drill. It's cheaper than um, <coughs> renting it each time. We've had to pay two days rent so far. I want to, I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that, but we'll go to this gold map. And now you see that the parcel has a bunch of stuff. I just want to right, right now make sure... I didn't miss the parcel, so 
314 so I want to go to 314 make sure I didn't do that but you can see the other ones I know I missed those and uh, they don't even have those I know there's some I missed deliberately but let me go to parcel was 314 and I missed that so let me go ahead get into the machine and make sure we get 314 drilled So, yeah. Okay, 314 should be on the other side over here. Now you can see the terrain. It was kind of, if you watch some of the fast forward stuff, I didn't do it all. But if you watch some of the fast forward stuff, you saw that I actually had some tough times because of the terrain okay and you want to try to get as center as possible when you're drilling because that gives you the most accurate reading and we'll go over that here in a second okay we are done drilling we drilled all the little squares so we are done with this machine so I'm going to release the brake. We're going to drive. And if you take a look at my gold, I have 774.832 ounces. That's over $700,000. Which we only need 600 to set up a wash plant. So we got the money now. It's going to be over seven hundred thousand dollars, but you also got to remember you're paying nineteen hundred dollars a bar, a twenty ounce bar, to smelt, and you lose two ounces every time you smelt. So you lose some money doing that. You lose money and you lose gold. It adds up kind of quickly when you're smelting a, a large amount of nuggets but a lot of people say drilling's not worth it well each map is different i'm going to tell you that right now and each each time each time you start a new game it's different okay something's blocking me why I can't get out on this side? Uh, okay. We'll back it in. Now this part right here, this little square here next to the dumpster. Is where you need to go ahead if you're renting a machine or if you want to sell a machine you just bring it right here now we can get out go to the cash register and we'll use that we're going to send that back and it's not going to cost us anything now we're not paying rent no more on that so let's go over the map. Of course, here's the town and here's our parcel. Let's go to the gold map. Now you can see this yellow and this gray. Okay. This gray has some gold, not much. It tells you how many ounces in um, millimeters, it, in ounces in millimeters squared. You're gonna make you gonna find some gold here. You're gonna have some gold here. But if you take a look at that, that's you have a little bit more. You have more ounces per ounce there. And then you get to this dark yellow. Now this is the depth. This this is your meter. So that's at 4.1 meters. You get 8.9 ounces, you get 0.9 ounces, 0.84 ounces, and 0.5 ounces. 
and you got different ones here. here here's a good one, solid. So you got 7.6, 8.5, 8.5, 8.9. And you got solid. Solid. This is an excellent one. 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.86, 0 0.89. So we'll make more money on that partial. And it's, what partial is this? It's square 120. So 120 will make a lot of money. I just want to go... I just want to run over to where we can oversee the parcel a little bit better. And this is the highest point. And one of the things about this is go back to the gold map and we'll hit we'll toggle that square. So that Okay, that's a good pay streak. That's a good pay streak. That's a good pay streak when it's just dark yellow. That's a good pay streak. That's a good pay streak. That's not. That's not. That's. Eh, yeah, that's a little bit. That one definitely is. 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 And, eh, that's okay. We'll mark that one. Definitely mark that one. Yeah, it's good down below. This tells you where the good gold is. And where to start digging. See, we can keep doing that. And then it kind of fades away. But when I take a look, everything I've toggled... Is right here so I know I can dig this area here and get get good pay when we set up when we start getting heavier equipment our next project is going to be the blacksmith I'm going to show you how to use the blacksmith and, and explain the blacksmith in the next episode then the following episode I'm going to show you how to use the mobile wash plant then the following episodes and most of the series, the rest of the series, we are going to set up the wash plant. I'm going to be doing that in parts. So it'd be one thing after another. So it's not going to be, it's going to be pretty nice once we get everything set up. Once we get the wash plant set up and explaining st stuff. Um. One of the things, I can't do it right now, but um, here in the gold room, we've got an extra hose. We've got the buckets instead of laying on the floor. we got that, and we'll go over the tablet. I'll do one day where we, once I get all the money, and we'll go ahead and <coughs> explain each one of these. But I'll go ahead and explain the bank right now. Here, you can take a look at the next partial to tell you how much. This one's 1200000 And this is going to be... You lease it for 300000 The next partial is 1800000 And you rent it for 500000 You lease it for 500000 This is uh, $2,400,000. And you lease it for eight hundred. Then we're back to what we got. The bank, same as the bank, we got a loan, which I got to pay out, pay off. And you can actually do it here, but I don't have the money right now. <laughs> Stock, which tells you what the gold is, which is actually pretty good right now. We're at $1,200 times... Times goal, but we can't. We don't have the money to do that. Yep, sorry. Twelve hundred times seven seven four seven hundred seventy four ounce point eighty three eight thirty two and ounces. That's a lot of money. But you also got to remember when you smelt your gold. I'll explain that when we go to a blacksmith. But it costs money to smelt your gold. It costs you lose 
gold in it. So I'll explain that in the next episode. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along and when I go live here on YouTube. Also do me a favor, hit that like button. Every like I get gets my videos and this channel seen a little bit more. I would really appreciate that. And as always, <coughs> excuse me. And as always, have fun playing your games. Be safe out there in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.